Hi Pearson Pandas, welcome to Art at Home with Mrs. Tomsko. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday I'm going to be posting um, some videos for simple projects that you guys can do and draw at home. Our first project for this week is we're going to try to draw a Pearson Panda. We're going to be working with um, white paper. If you can find a clean white paper that doesn't have any lines on it at your house, that would be really great. And we're going to start with just a pencil. Later on, on Thursday, we might add some color to our drawing with uh, some colored pencils. So if you can find some of those at your house, that would be great. But you don't need to. We're going to be using um, a lot of black and white in our picture. So all we really need is a pencil and a white piece of paper. To start, we're going to talk about vertical versus horizontal. Our vert when we put our paper vertical in the art world, we call it portrait, right? Our, my second graders should remember this because we were just talking about and doing a landscape project in class. Um, and so our paper was turned this way, which enables us to better fit a landscape. This way, we can fit a portrait in the details of a person's face or an animal's face better, right, so that we can fit their head and their neck and their shoulders. And then if we turn it this way, we can better fit a wider picture, like a landscape picture of a big piece of land. So today we're going to draw with our picture portrait, or tall ways, as I sometimes say for my younger kids. And this project today can be done um, kindergarten through fifth grade. My fifth graders are going to be able to get a little bit more detailed with it, but my kindergartners can also complete this project. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get ready and draw. I have my white piece of paper here and my pencil, and I'm going to be drawing like this so that you can better see the steps. Hopefully you'll be able to see my uh, pencil. If not, I may switch over to a Sharpie just like I do in class. So. Um, First, I wanted to remind you that your paper is going to go portrait ways or tall ways for my younger kids that, that know what I usually say in class. Um, and we're going to be drawing the portrait of a panda today. So we need you to find the middle of your paper with your finger and around where you found the middle, we're going to draw a really um, kind of medium size circle. Um, and we're not going to just draw a straight line circle, we're going to use a little bit of a zigzag circle. And we want our zigzag to be um, very, very tiny, almost like you can't notice it. So I'm going to find the middle, I'm going to go up a little bit, not all the way to the top, but maybe halfway between the middle and the top. And I'm going to start by doing a little zigzag to the side kind of around to the edge of my paper. It kind of makes it look furry, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna keep going all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna make my zigzag go the other way, going this way. I'm gonna make it as medium big as I can make it, okay? You might even wanna make it a little bit bigger than that. Um, but that'll probably be okay. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to add his shoulders, the bear's shoulders. So from each side where his cheek would be, we're going to bring down another tight, zigzaggy, wiggly line to the bottom of our page, all the way to the bottom. Okay, that is his shoulders. I'm going to fix this side a little bit. I want this one to be a little bit more curved, I think. That's the great thing about working with a pencil is that you can erase if you make a mistake. There we go. All right, I like that line a little bit better. So right inside from our shoulder line that we just made, let's use about three fingers for a space. So see at the bottom of our, my screen, just like I used three fingers to measure from where I ended the zigzag line to where I'm going to start my new line and I'm going to make a mark. That's going to show me where I need to start his belly line because remember pandas are black and white. So I'm going to do the same thing on both sides, measure with three fingers, make a line. 
And then from that line, I'm gonna also do a wiggly squiggly line that kind of goes up to the middle of his chin. And we don't want these lines to touch, but we do wanna leave a little bit of a space. So this is gonna be his white belly, and this is the outside black of his fur. Okay, let's go back up to the top here on either side and let's make um, some furry ears. So same zigzaggy fuzzy line that we're making and we're gonna do a rainbow line. It's kind of a big rainbow line for a big fluffy teddy bear ear. Remember, pandas are, ear, are uh, bears, so they look kind of like a big giant teddy bear, but for real. So we've got his ears on, and now we want to draw in his face. So in the middle, let's find the middle of our circle here. We're gonna find the middle, and I'm gonna go down just a little bit from where the middle was. If I think the middle is right here, I'm gonna go down just a little bit. And I'm going to make a small stretched out smile line. And from that small stretched out smile line, I'm gonna add a rainbow on each side that's also stretched out. Can anyone guess what they think this is gonna be? Probably his nose. And then I'm gonna make a big smile line that goes around to connect the bottom. He's got a big teddy bear nose here. All right, now, I'm going to start at the bottom of where I just drew his nose, and I'm gonna bring out two lines that go out kind of like a kitty cat face or a bear face. And I'm gonna bring these up and around to the side, like kind of like the letter J, to the side of where his nose should go. Here. Okay, those are his cheeks, big, fluffy, teddy bear cheeks. And I'm gonna add a chin down here for his chin line that shows where his, his top part of his mouth hits the bottom part of his mouth. And from these side lines, I'm gonna bring almost a kind of a straight line up, but I'm gonna make an eyebrow line, kind of like that. So it's kind of a loop that goes back out towards the edge of his his uh, ear. Make this side a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, and then from this line, we're actually gonna jelly bean and make a jelly bean shape um, on the sides for where his black eye mask goes. So I'm going to go in a little bit like a sideways smile and then back out and into his cheek. So see how that kind of makes a jelly, I, I call it a jelly bean shape. It kind of looks like a jelly bean to me, or maybe a, a black bean or a, girl, um, or a kidney bean. Okay, so in a little bit like a smile and then back out and circle into his cheek. And then inside, we're gonna give him um, his eyes and his, a real panda has eyes that kind of look like a human. There are human shapes, so they're kind of like um, like a football shape or a lemon shape like we've talked about in class. But we can see their top eyelid and their bottom eyelid a lot easier. So I'm going to start with a rainbow line on top and then a smile line on bottom for my football shape. And then I'm going to do the same thing so that I can see his eyelid. So see, now it looks like he's got an eyelid or an edge to his eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, a rainbow and then a smile line. I'm gonna give him an eyelid on top and an eyelid on bottom. And then inside of that, remember our eyes have two circle parts. We have the white part, which is right where we see right now where there's no eyeball. And then we have a circle that has the color of our eye, and then we have the pupil, which is the black part of our eye. So you can color that in. So in that color, make a circle. I'm making my circles touch the top and the bottom of his eyelids. All right, so now we've got the basic shape of our panda bear, and I'd like to add a couple of bamboo stalks around the outside of our panda portrait. So let's start down here at the bottom and my my bamboo shapes are going to be very simple. They're going to be 
tall rectangles. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom and make a tall rectangle. Oops. And then from the next one, I'm going to go just in a little bit. So I'm starting just in, not on the exact edge, just a little bit on the inside to show that there's different levels. And I'm going to make another rectangle. And this rectangle can get a little bit bigger at the top if I want. And then the next one, and I'm just going to keep building up these rectangle shapes until I get all the way up to the top. Now look, I'm going to run into his ear a little bit. I might be okay. But in case I do run into his ear, you should always stop and then go to the other side so that we have an overlapped area instead of an area where we drew through something that we already drew. Okay, so there's my first piece of bamboo. And then I'm thinking I'm going to make another one that's imaginary. It's kind of going behind his head. Maybe there's one part sticking out right here, but then it keeps going up, 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 up above his ear. I'm just going to keep making it as a background. So he's in the bamboo. So now I don't need to draw any down here because this is his body. His body is in front of it, but I'm going to start up here at the top of his head. And I'm going to make some more bamboo shapes. And we're just going to fill in our background with bamboo shapes. So if I follow this up, I might have one there. I might come out to the top here. There we go. And I'm going to do one more starting at the bottom. This one's going to go lean in a little bit here. Come in more on the paper. It's just up, over, and down. A rectangle shape all the way up to the top. Now bamboo also has leaves on it, so in the couple of spaces that you have, you can make a thin line that is a little bit of a curve, and then you can make long football shapes for the bamboo leaves. So I'm just going to do a couple here, a couple there, a couple bamboo shapes, and the leaves always kind of hang down towards the bottom. Okay, so I might make one go the other direction, make another one here, just to show that it's fresh bamboo that he's probably eating off of. I might make a, uh, a line that shows that the leaves are going off the edge of my paper. Make my, it's like a football shape, so it's like a sideways rainbow and a sideways smile connected, okay? Sideways, rainbow. You could also do ovals, long ovals. That would also work. Long ovals. That's easier for you. Okay. Add a couple more over here. And maybe one in here. All right, so our panda's looking pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with how this is turning out. And I think I'm gonna stop for now. So tune in on Thursday's video to um, see how we're gonna add color and, and fill in our panda to make him look a little bit more 3D and a little bit more realistic. All right, hope you enjoyed the first part of the video. See you on Thursday.